on Storyboard today, Sam Martin Sorrell on the growing emergence of new media companies, FCB's Jonathan Harris on Rohit Ori's appointment as Group Chairman and CEO of FCB Ulka, the Triple A's of I honors Bobby Sista with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Hello and welcome to Storyboard, I'm Pavni Mittal. After nearly a month of special programming, we're finally back with our regular magazine show. And we're going to begin with an interview with WPP CEO Sir Martin Sorrell. I caught up with him at the Khan Lions to understand what the growing prominence of new media companies means for the communications business, the launch of content company Truffle Pig, and if business will be better in the second half of the year. Is this festival becoming more about suits and less about creatives? Um, no, I think it's not more about suits. I mean, mm -hmm. I think you... What you do see is it's more about healthcare, health mm -hmm. and wellness, and pharma on the first weekend. Yeah. Uh, or actually, they've created a new weekend. Yeah. They've elongated it. And the second area is data. Mm -hmm. So, data visualization. Yeah. So, CAN is broader this year than it's been. And I guess the other element to it is the so called ad tech, which is yes. not really, it's, it's really the new media companies, mm -hmm. as opposed to the old media companies, uh, are probably more active than they've ever been and mm -hmm. there's more varied. I mean the one exception to that is uh, AOL which yeah. seems to have no presence here this year at all. Mm -hmm. But Google and Facebook and LinkedIn and Apple Snapchat. and Microsoft uh, and Snapchat at the beginning of the week, yeah. e Evan left after our mm -hmm. press conference on yeah. um, Truffle Pig. Um, but you know generally I would say uh, Yahoo and what's other, the other interesting thing is I think that the, the new media companies, uh, they, their personalities mm -hmm. reflect how the company is doing. So Google, we're certainly seeing the softer side of Google because mm -hmm. of the regulatory issues. Facebook is being mo much more aggressive. Okay, yeah. Um, I would go as far as say overly so, mm -hmm. um, given uh, their success on catching up with Google, mm -hmm. mobile on mobile and video. I mean, we last year did about 2.9 billion with Google. This year we'll do about 3.5, 3.6. Mm -hmm. Facebook, uh, we did about 640 mm -hmm. million dollars last year. We'll probably do over 900 this year, okay. which is below the target that we have, okay. but still a considerable increase. And then we've got uh, other companies. Yahoo's being very aggressive in a constructive way. Um, because they you know, have a lot of ground and we'll be up about 10% with them mm -hmm. this year from 400 to about 440. Uh, LinkedIn is being very aggressive. Twitter, mm -hmm. we've gone from 50 to 150 last year and this year around about 220, 230, 40 million. Yeah. Uh, so I would say uh, Apple being very, it's very interesting with Apple. There's lots of interesting, I think, opportunities to work together. Uh, so all in all, Microsoft being a much more integrated offer and uh, I think a more aggressive offer, constructively so, uh, with Satya in control of the, mm. uh, the company. So I, I think all in all the online companies have been very prominent here in addition yeah. to health and wellness and, and but they've uh, also taken over the headlines I mean the headlines are like you mentioned uh, data devices and uh, not so much about craft. I think actually the work you know, certainly we've done extremely well. We've mm -hmm. done better this year than we've ever done. The gap, I think, for the holding company of the year award will be, well, certainly according to our numbers. Should be, that's is, so this will is, be what, fourth year? Uh, sorry? Consecutively, this will be the fourth year you'll be winning it? Fifth year, it will be the fifth, fifth year if fifth. we win. Yeah. Um, so, statistically, we've done extremely well. We've, mm -hmm. All our agencies have been... You know, the engines have been running very well, yeah. so, but, but they were, they're doing the creative work. I think data people can be creative, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, ad tech people can be creative, but I think there's the other thing that we see is sort of validation of our strategy of differentiation, which is the three things apart from ta talent, which is technology, mm -hmm. data, and content. So what we do with AppNexus, what we do yeah. with Zaxis, what we do with Comscore and Rentrack, and Kansar, what we do with Vice, yeah. Media Rights Capital, Full Screen, Snapchat, mm -hmm. Alex the Kid with, with this music producer, we, we've announced this, this deal with him this week, 
I mean, they're all emblematic of those three things. Okay. Uh, can you tell me about Truffle Pig because you just yeah. made the announcement and why will it be different from the other content companies? Well, which content companies are you referring to? Well, um, there are lots of them who work on uh, native advertising. I mean, say, uh, would you be competing with, say, a BuzzFeed at all? Well, I mean, it, it's, it's adjacent to okay. that area. I mean, what, I mean what, what, what we do, we work very closely with BuzzFeed as well. Mm -hmm. um, what we're doing with Truffle Pig is linking with Evan Spiegel yeah. and, and Snapchat and associated newspapers in the, in the person of the Daily Mail online. Yeah. Uh, John Steinberg, we've known for years. He was at BuzzFeed moved to the Daily Mail, has been developing the Daily Mail online content. Uh, Jonathan has a good relationship with Evan. We met Evan, we were talking to Evan about the launch of his 12 over the top channels. And uh, you know, he was launching that, those channels with sponsorships of $750,000 each. We were remarkably unsuccessful in clients mm -hmm. um, sponsoring that because they were asking where's the data. Mm -hmm. So that sort of triggered the thinking about how we can work more closely together. Yeah. And Jonathan brokered that uh, with Evan and ourselves. And so we have a jointly yeah. owned company, which is yeah. called Truffle Pig, which is a basis to... Uh, is is there a story behind the name? Yes, with David Ogilvy. He, okay. he, he used to believe in pigs that found truffles. I'm told uh -huh. that, that we've moved on from pigs to dogs. <laughs> uh, they're, yes. more, they're more efficient and effective. But no, this was uh, pure Ogilvy okay. in the sense of uh, truffle pigs, truffles sort of uh, mm -hmm. pigs finding finding truffles in the ground okay. so that's the derivation but really essentially we're bringing snapchat which is mm -hmm. the platform in terms of video and social content alex jutkowitz who runs sjr for us brought sjr into the group is developing social content for hill and Knowlton and other companies mm -hmm. you know, working for jeff Immelt at uh, ge working for ian reed uh, at uh, pfizer and others to develop social content and together with Snapchat and the mail, we'll build that into a social hmm. content platform. Okay. Um, so could you share your prognosis for the second half uh, of the year? That is, say, I wish I could share India, my, prog my prognosis for the first half. <laughs> well, India is very strong. We, okay. we've, uh, we're now well over 500 million. We'll be, we'll get it, we're going to get close to $600 million of revenue okay. in India this year. We're doing very well. India is the one brick that's doing very well. Um, or one, the one brick that's doing well, you know, Brazil is challenged, Russia is obviously challenged, China's China. challenged, mm -hmm. but India is singing at the moment and uh, the new Prime Minister Modi is, uh, obviously has a very ambitious program. Mm -hmm. I'm on the Bloomberg Foundation, I'm delighted that Michael had such a, Bloomberg had a, such a successful trip to India and we're, we're, you know, the foundation is of course doing the smarter cities hmm. um, approach with, uh, with a significant investment by the Indian government in creating smarter cities. Uh, now our business is doing very well in India but that uh, sadly is the exception rather than yeah. the rule for the BRICS and Next Level. And generally I think business is quite difficult. Generally the, the clients, you know, we, the the biggest retweet that we got here in Cannes was marketing is an investment, not a cost. Mm -hmm. And I think that's emblematic. You know, if you're running a, a business, you have, you know, one end of the spectrum, you have uh, Airbnb and yeah. Uber on, and the disruption, disru disruptors. Yes. At the other end, you have 3G, the zero-based budgeters mm -hmm. and Coty and Kraft and Heinz and Burger King and Tim Horton and mm -hmm. Valiant and Endo in the pharmaceutical area. And in the middle, you're sort of sitting there trying to run the company, changing the mm -hmm. engines on the mm -hmm. plane while you're flying, and you look up and there's Nelson Peltz and Dan Loeb and Bill Aikman. So it's a tough environment. So people are very focused on the short term. Okay. Worldwide economic growth is under pressure. Mm -hmm. In fact, forecasts of GDP are yes. coming down. Uh, uh, Publicis mm -hmm. and, and IPG okay. have actually lowered their forecasts for the industry. Um, IPG have actually said negative growth or lack of growth mm -hmm. uh, in TV in the US uh, for the next couple of years. So it's, it's a difficult operating environment. Inflation is non-existent, yes. there's deflation, therefore there's pricing, there's a lack of pricing power and that means clients are very focused on costs. So okay. it's, it's, I don't want to be pessimistic, I want to be realistic. You know, in, in this environment, you know, you're saying people are not being uh, uh, optimistic enough. Um, you, the danger is you get over optimistic, I think okay. you have to be realistic.
Okay. My last question to you is, could you tell us three um, surprise learnings from uh, Khan 2015? Miraculously, everybody is starting to understand what I, I would claim we, start, we started to understand several years ago. The importance of technology, mm -hmm. the importance of data, mm -hmm. and the importance of content. Those three things are driving differentiation. And all these media reviews that are taking place in the US, I think those are the three areas, apart from talent yeah. and obviously price, that will be critically important. Keeping pace with changing technology, clearly the biggest challenge for everyone in the communications business. We're going to take a short break here. On the other side, FCB's Jonathan Harris confirms what we said first. Rohit Ori to take over as Group Chairman and CEO of FCB Ulka. What Rohit's going to do is accelerate that momentum and take us to a level which we believe the company should be at.